Working within Photoshop, Nick Software's plugins have an increased level of functionality. The ability to brush in effects is one of those increased areas where we can work within Photoshop in particular, as opposed to other host applications like Aperture and Lightroom. However, if we go to the filter menu for this particular image, we can drop down and convert for smart filters. This allows us to work on our image and then be able to re-edit it at a later stage. So anything we do within our NIC filters can in fact be reopened, changed and resaved. And this happens whether you're saving back into Photoshop or into other applications like Aperture. You can open the photos up again and be able to re-edit them. So let's have a look in the case of this image. Let's go first of all to Viveza. First of all, we're told we get a reminder that is, we can't have our brush button working within this environment of smart filters. So let's expand out this window and have a look at this particular image. Let's go into adjusting something with Viveza. So what we'll do is we'll apply perhaps a control point to the lions here. We'll extend that out so that it's affecting both of the lions. So we've got both of those guys covered. We're then going to increase our structure at this instance and our saturation. Now you can see here, this hasn't just affected the lines in this particular area because there is some of the same color that's been chosen by the control point in the background, in the grass, for instance. So what we'll do is we'll actually protect that area by adding another control point into the grass color, extend that out, and then also perhaps in this instance we'll drop down the brightness for that background area as well. So we'll actually bring more of our lions into interest in the foreground here. If we have a look at our control point list, we just click on our first control point, we can see which area is being affected by the control point. So we've done an adjustment here we're happy with. We click OK. This saves our adjusted layer back into Photoshop. We can see that it has in fact added a layer in here. We've got a smart filter layer which we can turn on or off to see the end result or the effect. We also have the control area here, the layer that has the control point adjustments listed. So if I decide I actually want to re-edit this, I'm not happy with the result, I want a more profound result here, let's double click on Viveza and let's open up that layer again, basically. So let's open up Viveza tool again. At this point we can go in and make more pronounced adjustments, so let's go and maybe affect the global structure of our image and let's go back into our control points down the bottom here and have a look at that first control point again. Let's um, increase our warmth in this particular area and let's increase our structure again, give that a bit more detail in there as far as this is concerned, probably got a bit too surreal there, but that should work. And likewise, let's also perhaps remove some of the saturation from that background area. So therefore we'll take out some of the grass saturation there. So hopefully make these guys stand out a lot more. If we click OK now, it'll save this layer back into our working Photoshop file. So we see here we've got the smart filters applied and we can see once again if we turn off either of the eye tools on the smart filter layer here we can see that being applied. Key thing here is it also works in conjunction with other layers or other applications. So therefore if I now choose to go in and apply for instance a pro contrast filter within color effects I can immediately have the color effects window opened up see that this is perhaps a bit too pronounced in this particular instance, drop that contrast down a bit as far as the image is concerned, click OK, and away we go. I've now applied a second control layer. We can see what's applied with that particular control layer by turning on or off the eye tool for that layer, turning it back on again. So at any stage I can go in and see the particular layers that are being applied by the different plugins or different filters within the different plugins because we could have multiple filters here just within the same plugin and also at any stage once again I can click on a particular plugin layer and go back in re-edit that maybe in this instance applying a control filter to the background color the green so therefore we're making that pro contrast really affect the lions here but not the background so when we update that, we can see the end result of that particular adjustment. So there we go. A great way of combining our Photoshop skill set or Photoshop ability with layers here with the ability to use our tools within the plugin suite from Nick to give you real control over your images and very, very swiftly doing it. 
without any need for masking and cutouts in order to affect just selected areas as we've seen here.